Hi everybody, my name is Benny and I brought you to the stables which I train at because today I'm going to talk about something that is very important to me. Oh hi Matt. Come, come, come here. Anyway, so I've been riding horses for about one year now and since I've kind of dived into this equestrian life, I have accumulated a lot of stuff and it's not cheap. So I want to talk to you about breeches. Summer ones, all season ones, winter ones. I'm going to show you some expensive ones, some cheap ones, and I'm going to talk to you about the difference and why I like these ones. So I'm going to start with my summer breeches. I obviously started riding in the summertime, so I think I've accumulated more summer tights, but some of them are full seat. Actually, only one of my summer tights are full seat. So I'm going to start with that one. I think I like it the most. This is them. I actually don't know who makes them. I got them at sale, on sale at this one store called Peacock, and I will put a link to their website so you can check them out. But I really like these ones because the full seat in the back actually has these little grippies, which I hope you can see them. They're, they don't, they don't like keep your legs from moving in the back, which I like. They still have a lot of flexibility. And the little bit of grips actually really help me stay on my horse, which sometimes comes in handy because especially when I was learning, there was a lot of slippage. These ones actually also have two pockets, and I don't know why a lot of these don't all have pockets because where are you supposed to put your stuff? But these ones have two pockets in the front. It's super stretchy, and the design is really cool. And I really like these ones. I think these ones are like. I don't know. At some point, I think I'm going to tell you how much money I spent in the last year. I'm, just, I'm a little bit afraid for that, but <laughs> we'll see. Next pair is just a simple black one. They're super, super thin, so when it's a really hot day outside, they're perfect. These ones only have, the, but these ones have a little leg patch. They're actually the, let me see. Oh, this is the Lation. So this is the house brand at my favorite place to buy anything, it's Greenhawk, and I'll definitely be doing a video there so you can see what they have in the store and you can kind of see how much money I'd like to spend on there. Um, these ones are really thin. I actually wear them underneath my all season ones in the winter when it's super cold as a legging. And no pockets, thanks guys. But these ones are cheap, they're only, I think these are 70 bucks or 60 bucks, maybe even 50, so, when they were on sale, I think they were 50 bucks. Um, really nice. Yeah. These ones are from a company called Arision. I actually don't remember when I bought them. I don't really like wearing these ones too much. I think because the material is, is thin, but it just doesn't... I don't know. I don't know why I don't like them. Every time I go for a tan breach in the summertime, I always seem to grab these ones instead. So these ones also just have the knee patch and it's synthetic suede, which is great because you just toss them in the washer. You never hang, you never put your riding pants in the dryer because you don't want to ruin the seat or the knee patch. So I definitely would say hang to dry all of them. These ones are actually one of my favorite summer types. They're from Carrot, so I think they were a little bit more expensive. I think these ones were, I want to say, Around 120. I don't know. I really have no idea. But they're like um, like a like a tri-gray. Right? The cut on these is fantastic. I don't know what hair does. It's made of pure gold, but it's just a knee patch in black. Um, they're really durable. I remember wearing these ones like every day in a row and just washing them, and they never lost their shape. They never got any weird pilling. They're always very comfortable. And they're super light but still very breathable. And sometimes I do actually wear these underneath my all season tights as a, you know, to warm up in the winter time when you want to wear a thinner pair. But Carrot is a really great company and I would really recommend these for a summer tight. So check them out. Also, I got these at Greenhawk. Both of my stuff came from Greenhawk. Uh, now I'm going to move on to some all season tights. These ones are also by Carrot. They are a corduroy and a little bit of fabric on them. These ones are actually full seat, which is really great. Um, but the only reason why I'm not a big fan of these is because I wear a lot of women's riding pants because the men's riding pants just don't really fit very nicely. I don't, 
uh, who designs these men's tights. Um, so I end up buying, I think I only have one pair of tights that are men's tights, and you'll see them and you'll see why I don't like them. But these ones from Carrot are full feet. The material in the back isn't suede. I don't actually know what this is. It is, it's thicker, and sometimes I find it kind of is a little bit hard to move easily with them. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily super recommend them, but they are a great, a great tie. And I do like the corduroy, the cords. Like I, it looks good when I'm wearing them. Uh, the full seat doesn't go all the way down, which is great because it's not hard to put on in the bottom. And the fit is okay. I mean, maybe if I bought a men's version of these, if they made them, then I would buy it too. I think these ones were about 80 bucks, maybe 90. But I mean, I guess they are carrots, so they probably weren't that price. You know? Sorry guys, next. This is the only pair of men's riding pants that I own. And I actually have never worn them riding because I don't know why I bought them. I was just, I guess, in a mood to spend and they were on sale. But they do have pockets in the front. And the reason why I hate them is because they have pockets in the back. Who needs pockets in the back? All it does is just hit the saddle, hurt my bum, and make my butt look terrible. So, no thanks guys. Who makes these? Oh, it's Black Label. So it is one of the house labels from uh, Green Pop as well. The bottom isn't stretchy. It actually is a Velcro, and it, it goes on pretty nicely. Um, they are only just a patch. And I can't really tell you how durable they are because I have never, I think I tried to ride them once and I was so disappointed that I, I had to take them off. So I'll try them on so you guys can see what I mean, but not the best. But they were on sale and they were only 40 bucks. So I was allured by the price, but then when I got them, I was like, well, that's why they're on sale. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna show you three pairs of pants. They're the exact same cut, the exact same size, but three different colors. I got them also at Green Hawk. They are Palatian and I got it in tan. I got it in like a navy blue and I had to order these maroon ones because they were out of stock. These are so nice. Uh, I have worn these three breeches probably the most because all year round you can either add like an insulation layer underneath and they're very comfortable in the winter uh, and warm. And in the summertime, when you wear just these pants, it's not too intense. I do like the fact that they have uh, the hole at the top for you to put your belt on, and the, it's not too high waisted, so the belt doesn't sit in a weird spot. They aren't full seat; they are just the pad. And I do really like the color, like combination or match that they went with with this one. The maroon's my favorite. Very comfortable. Highly recommend them, and they weren't expensive. These guys were 50 bucks each when they're on sale at Green Hawk. So, highly recommend them. I think they also come in a, like a hunter green, which I think I will buy this year because I have no green pants. So, these are them. This is the back, this is the front. The bottom has a nice, tight elastic to make sure we don't slide up. It's got a little bit of a rubberized feel on the bottom so it doesn't you know, continue to slide up underneath your boots. Uh, I really, really like these ones, so I highly recommend if you are in Toronto or you want to shop online, hit up Greenhawk. Uh, this is their Elation Premium Riding Pants, so it's their hub brand. And I got mine at 28R because I'm not very big, so it fit very well and they wear very well. I wear them and wash them all the time. Again, inside out, hang to dry, and you can't really see, but no pilling at all. The fabric is awesome, and for a $50 breach, highly, highly, highly recommend them. So. Those are those three. Next. Ooh, now I'm gonna talk to you about some of my favorite riding pants. And it sucks because of their winter riding pants, and winter sucks in Canada, it's so cold. But these were so warm. I'm gonna start with these ones. They were by Carrots. I got them at Greenhawk when they have their big sale once a year. And I think, I think on sale they were 170, normally like 180, I don't remember the exact numbers, but. These ones are full seat, and it's the same type of material that was in the other pair full seat pants, the summer ones, um, the port ones. These guys are windproof and water resistant, so it's great in the winter time because if you get a bunch of snow on you, 
um, you're not going to have to worry about being cold afterwards. And the pockets are amazing. They have one nice long pocket on the side here for you to put your cell phone or some treats. And that's actually just about it for pockets. Fit of these is fantastic. I love the cut of them. They were definitely more on the pricey side, but worth every single penny. I'll probably have these for the rest of my life. Um, if you can see the full seat in the back, it doesn't go all the way up. So when you're wearing them, it doesn't kind of pull down at the back because this part also is a little bit elastic. And I highly recommend them. Check them out. I got them at Greenhawk as well. So like, get yourself a pair of these. You will not be upset. These are hands down my number one favorite, 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 favorite riding pants. They are also by Carrick. I got them at Carrick, sorry, Carrick from the end. I got this at the Greenhawk sale as well. I'm pretty sure around the same price as the other one, around 160, maybe 170, I don't know. So this one I really like because they're full seat number one, but the actual seat in the back isn't a separate fabric. It's the same stretchy PC type of fabric, which can I tell you is like when you put your legs in them, they're so soft. Like the most comfortable. Sometimes I actually just wear these around the house because like why not? They're just the best pants. Um, the full seat in the back has little grippies like the first pair I showed you that I like with the little dots, but they actually are little tiny pets. How cute! And it has your logo in the middle here on the back. Um, as the pockets, this one pops all of them. They have one pocket on the side here which has a zip, so you don't have to worry about you know whatever you put your, your phone or you know treats when you're riding. It's not going to slide out to the top. Um, that's never actually happened to me, but it's it's always a thought on my mind. Um, and then, that's actually it, there's only one pocket, but it is zipped, so you don't have to worry about anything falling. And it has, you open the pocket, it's, the fabric on the inside is actually a mesh, so you have a lot of breathability, the pocket's really deep, can you see how far I have, like, down my hand went into that? I'll show you from the outside. So, you can fit a lot in there, you guys. You can fit a lot in there. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend these. If they came in more colors, which they probably do, next winter, you can guarantee you I'll be buying a couple more of them um, at the Greenhawk sale. Get them. Get yourself a pair immediately, and when you do, let me know what you think of them, because I'm in love! They're so comfy. The only thing I would say I'm not a big fan of is the holes at the top for your belt. I don't know whose belt is that wide. It's also pretty high-waisted, so why would you need a belt that high up? Um, that's the only thing I would say I'm not a big fan of is the belt buckles at the top. I think they could have done without that, but these are the best, hands down. Definitely on the higher side of the price chain, but worth every single penny, and I highly recommend you to get them. So that's pretty much it. Now that you've seen all of the pants I have, you can you know see what I'm wearing when I'm riding, and I'll try them all on so you can see the fit, and let me know what you guys think. Subscribe and tune in next week when I talk about the boots that I bought because. I've spent a little bit of money on those too, and worth it, definitely worth it, and I'll give you a review on those, so stay tuned, bye!